Hello, 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 everyone. How are you all? Hopefully you're all doing well. <laughs> I pull hey, back up and we get into a fight. I guess I'll go easy on them. Oh yeah, it says that the auto Take this! Collapsed from the monster's attack. I wonder if Dongrest is all right. It seems that some people were injured too. The place was crawling with knights. I think they can handle things from here. Plus, the Dons and Dongrest and all the guild members are really tough. Flynn would catch us if we went back now, and that'd be the end of your travels. You're right. I'll put my trust in the Imperial Knights and the guilds. I decided I'm going with you, and that's what I'm gonna do. Well, here we go. Well, I just saw a fall of some sort. At least I heard the sound for it, but I'm not seeing it pop up on my feet. <laughs> unfortunately, I couldn't read it. Well, if you're there, speak up, please. It'd be nice to talk to you. Oh my, doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? Well, I mean, you could, but it's not the right thing to do. I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well, come <laughs> on, we should hurry to the inn. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members, too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache, and I prefer a small group. But you're just going to play the both. <laughs> follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%. <laughs> Aye, aye, Captain.
Let's see. spiderwebs for that. Yeah, I hadn't finished Blue Dragon, so I don't want to upgrade that yet. side. I guess I can't let things go either. Take a look because there's a way. Oh, yeah, the title.
Yeah, there we go. That looks kind of cool. We'll rock that for now. I think this would probably be about the best place to go to. Huh. So not here. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. I'm figuring much, much older than that. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're I going do. after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Well, shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. She's way well, too just don't forget what this. we're out here for. I know. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Well, Where's your father? Do.
I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. That sounds huh? like a lie. That it doesn't really does. sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Cumor gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Cumor? From the Imperial Knights? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. Well, look You're gonna ask it. me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. And if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around <laughs> till he stops. <laughs> well, that, that's a valid way of doing going about it, I think. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. Ah, we'll find bah. your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we can get in. I mean, it could in. be marked off limits just because there's a sheer drop there. Careful, guys. Remember? Careful. Uh, we don't do careful. I'd like to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. I agree with that idea. No, I won't allow it. All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then. Well, Judy, you're probably the best choice. Yes, I think so. Aren't you sure of yourself? Well then, shall we? Where are we going? To buy a dress, of course. I can't seduce anyone in these rags. <sighs> Isn't what you're wearing good enough? No, no, I would say my it pride is. would never allow it. I don't really understand, but she appears to be going to buy a dress. So she's going to see the peddler then? With Judas seducing the guard, this plan can't fail. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, Carol. What can I do to be like Judas? Hmm? Did you say something, Estelle? Oh, no, just talking to myself. Excuse me. I'm looking for some fascinating outfits. Fascinating? Are you out for a date? Well, how about this? Ugh, how plain. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, how about this one? Nope. All right. Then what about this? What exactly are you looking for? For example... <gasps> no way. I have nothing like that. Then could you possibly make one for me? Let's see. If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. 
You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. I probably already have them. Right, let's go. Judas really into this, isn't she? Seems like she likes this sort of thing. Oh, you've brought the items. Wait here while I make you something nice. What the hell? What do you say? Does it look okay on me? You didn't have to change your costume like that. So grown-ups are interested in these kind of outfits. All is ready. Let. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Before that, could you do something about your outfit? I mean, she's not leaving much to the imagination whatsoever. And again, her previous outfit really didn't either. Here. Hello there. Oh, oops. Did you get an eyeful just now? No, no I, I didn't see anything. I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. Uh, it's a shame. Are you going to make me say it out loud? Uh... I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong work ethic. What? <laughs> Madly in love? Mm-hmm. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have, uh, a little fun? Yeah, but... But uh, there's someone back in the capital that I promised to marry. No, don't be such a stick in the mud. But I, uh, um... Good work. Can't believe adults can be easily fooled like this. And yeah. how long are you gonna stay in that costume? I guess this calls too much attention. I'll leave it at the shop. But... What was the fun thing you were talking about? Really? Going for a swim. Uh-huh. All right, on to the next step. Huh? Well, it should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who, me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to do it. But really, a knight of all things? I mean, oh, you spent well. time if as this it. helps us fool them all the better. Hey, quit goofing off over there. Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild. Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? Yuri? I can only imagine who this is. And I'm probably right. You yep, got a I'm lot right. of nerve locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now! Rita, what is she doing here? Calm down already! I'll I'll go call him right now! Hey, shut up! Well, she hasn't changed much. Let me go! Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita?
Have you calmed down? No. Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there, too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hopelone Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't. You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Qmor. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't remember this guy. I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've gotta rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait, we're being careful, right? Mm, but... Not this point. This time it's all out. One thing at a time. R right. That oh, was definitely a bot. Okay. Then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. You know, in knight's armor, you really do look like a knight, Yuri. You're quite handsome. You're getting a compliment, you know. It wouldn't hurt to smile. I'm not really crazy about this getup. I've got bad memories of Flynn laughing his head off about how silly I looked in this. Well, I think I get how Flynn felt. <laughs> it's like somebody dressed you up. <laughs> no, not at all, Yuri. It's good because it's so different from who you are. Leave it to Yuri to be different, even in a normal suit of armor. This is why I hate this uniform. you don't get the Hide Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogo now, sir? I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. Yeah, we'll see about and that. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! 
<laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. The Union can't possibly hope to stop me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now <laughs> we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air clinic. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I can't give up the... Gonna take orders. Silver light. Oh, 
The cry of victory! <sighs> Repeat? Look who's here. And a group of those red eyes. Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here. Get to work. No slacking off, you worms. <sighs> Look, that's... If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! <laughs> uh, who? Yuri Lowell! What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger, get rid of them. Yeah, my lord. Nothing personal, you see. Just business. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you shoot me. How could the Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. You should dry off first. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade! Flynn! Well, send him away! We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwat. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please, step this way. Move, move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? No. Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes. Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. 
So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. <clears throat> All right. Yuri, wait. Gotta run, Flynn. Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> Too late. <laughs> I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we that anyway? That took too long. A forest in central Tobikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven <laughs> the Great. Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torm Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. <sighs> we sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> It sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can not? defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder. It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. Yeah. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes. That's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Well, don't mention stupid things.
I just crafted you one of those, and then you come and show up with one. I'm just getting started. Away from Combo Plus. Hey, do you mind if I have a gel? Carol, I don't really think you should eat those unless you need them. But I can't stop thinking about how good they taste, or the smooshy way they feel between my teeth. I noticed we've had fewer gels lately. You've been snacking on them, haven't you? I want them so badly I can't sleep, and here you've been eating them while we weren't looking. I haven't been doing anything like that. Wait, Rita, you were losing sleep over gels? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not snacks, you know. They might be small, but they're pretty expensive. I can't say I like their taste or texture very much. Perhaps they're not too pleasing to a princess's palate. No, that's not it. I don't think they're that good either. I'm addicted to their simple taste. You just don't get it. Gels were made sweet and soft, so they'd appeal to children after all. Are you saying my sense of taste is childish? What's the matter with that? You are both children. <laughs> I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Can I get you pansy some tissues? Or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yep. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural, considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, well, I don't care about I'm your opinion sorry, but that. I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well... The Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce.
Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongress. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? This is our member of a guild. It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So, are we done? <laughs> I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Are we really concerned with that? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah! We'll all meet down at the harbor then. What's the matter, boss? Mm, I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss is the boss. What would you have me calling you instead? Just call me whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. <laughs> Don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First, we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger, too. Let's make the best of it. That's yeah. a point there. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing, but I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmore. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn, and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a Guild for this kind of purpose. He will get what he deserves. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but there are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. 
I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> I don't think you're sure. going to like that. <laughs> it's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack. So I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll... believe we have to travel with you what you ain't happy well I'm not exactly jumping for joy you're too glum lighten up didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil that was only because you had to I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor you still remember that some people just don't know when to give up I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. Sure you will. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Just a moment here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the wait. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're going to be traveling with us. But might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm, well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Two more people to find, it looks like.
Oh? Are you going to look for that Q-more guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What? You figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Uh-huh. Well, whatever. Sure. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. Try going back to the end and seeing what happens here. Maybe the other door? There she is. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that Pharaoh whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this Pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure uh, out Pharaoh's anything not at really all if she dies. So much as just a monster. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Oh, what? No, oh, that's what just happened. Oh, welcome, raiders. Thank you for the raid, Ellie. How are you guys? No, oh, have it your way then. And then the bot follow finally showed up. Notification finally showed up. need to speak to someone again. But, uh, how was 
Tales of the Abyss. A little tired. Excuse me. through and talk to everyone. I saw where you had a character that uh, is using the same probably uh, where what's-her-name gets that outfit from. Has the is using the outfit from one of the characters that I saw there on uh, Tales of the Abyss. Yeah, but I don't know what else to be doing at the moment. I'm, I've talked to everyone in my party. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing at this moment. Maybe that's what I need to do. Hopefully. Ready to go? Yep, that's what I need to what do. What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Her mood's huh? changed drastically. You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, oh, probably they I, give crossover um, bonus outfits you know, all the time it's no big these. deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, <sighs> to be young again, I tell you. Well, as I've only played, well, this one and a bit of Symphonia, I really don't know. You got know something too you want to say? Whoa, down, girl. To the harbor, then. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? I'm trying to think of what one do like after, after, fine. The, after stream. Is that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait. Though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just <laughs> waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? <laughs> hey, Audie. Love seeing the emotes bounce around the screen like that. It's so cool.
<laughs> well, I mean, plead the fifth I don't think would actually be a phrase that actually translate into this world, but... The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that blastia. And if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already Probably. done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. No, it may not be cost effective enough to try and drag it up on the ocean floor. Oh, Yoder! Oh, it's you all. We meet again. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. They are. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really They all have really like cool voice Empire. actors, too. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions that Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial Treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Deinomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Huh, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got our own shit to go do. <sighs> Should I do chicken or shrimp tonight? Against that many? You've got to be crazy. I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. Yeah, that's a good place to start, at least. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh, I guess those wine posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that Guardian Guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. 
You yeah, always yeah, as I yeah, yeah. Well, they, they made themselves a problem and we had to deal with it. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so see you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia. That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. <laughs> um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we use to get there. Oh, hey! Really? I like this idea. This just became a lot more, uh, up, but it's still a good deal. more advantageous. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with a boat. Only because I like said hat. What's wrong with the hat? I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract. I, I mean, then. I think it makes him look like a old school detective. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. And uh, with his voice, he reminds me of the one detective. Uh, I can't remember his name at the moment, but uh, season one of the the Expanse. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. Ah, uh, well, if you... In a bad way? Oh, uh, I... I guess I just like fedoras myself, but... sci-fi shows or science fiction genre in any way the expanse is an amazing show he's about one neck beard shy of spouting my lady I'll make it even worse. <laughs> okay, MJ. Well, I guess MJ is Michael Jackson. This is the Fiat. Really She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gull's Song, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. 
Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier continent. Nordopolica is at the but eastern But also that was, really wasn't what I was expecting when it said white hat. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Viertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. And that's about it. So I have. Well, oh, that's significantly goofy, and I like that more than I do the white hat. We just started out, and we're black already hat, working but... with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. What's the president of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? This is bad. Well, if you this fail, you'll all be so dead, so it doesn't bad. really matter. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not being careful. That's running and hiding. It'll be nice if we don't run into the mermen, won't it? Hmm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah, Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't Thank found you, an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh, because they're the guild that's specializing in sales Twitch of just Hoopland Blastia. Twitch doesn't do a good enough job about really doing, dealing with bots very well. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. I mean, I hadn't seen one of them in a while, but... If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have stopped up another one of our major customers. Still... I can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their product from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. No, I'm not set to follow her only. Ah, oh, right on time. Everyone, be careful! Ugh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. Did that monster just say something? That voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? Let's work together! I mean, I'd like We're to try done. and give people a fair shot to try and introduce themselves and see and interact before actually making any deciding whether or not they want to uh, follow or not. And
I mean, not everyone out there is a bot or reputation. bad. It's, it's right just to bring you there along. are a lot of them, such people out there. I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. I researched it a while yeah, I back, thought it was her best looking but eventually outfit, I realized so. that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! Didn't think that hard on I just said to deter bot, bot advertising. No, I get that. I've thought about doing that before. Patty! Well, that was a pleasant voyage. Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean. But a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. Ah! <laughs> so that wasn't all of them. I've healed him, but he should still rest for a while. Well, this is a real problem. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. No. I can do it. Patty, you can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you'd better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then Fair I'd like point. to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. You gotta be kidding me. Nah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. Those sharks are skinny. It's no wonder they're attacking. They just hungry. I'll leave the course up to you. Not wrong there. They're also rather small. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh, but don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right. And feel free to give me directions about our course. I mean, I'm sure if you'd just thrown some food off the side of the ship, they probably would have avoided the entire mess. Good practice. Don't get cocky. <laughs> the sign of victory. Oh, yeah, I need to change out her tiny little ship pilot. soon enough oh yeah I gotta turn those arcs off they're not arcs but uh, I can't do it in here quit picking on me I'm just getting started.
Well, uh, as you guys probably know this game better than I do, is there anywhere I should be... I'd be heading in particular? Hey, kitty, it's been a while. It's going good. The fog's gotten awfully thick. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. N knock it off! Talk like that long enough and something bad will happen. Hey, front! I mean bow! Hmm. We're going to hit them. <laughs> Not sure if that's what's supposed to happen or if I just stumbled onto something, but... What is that? That's an old ship. I've never seen that type before. I think it says... The Atherum. It's a fancy looking ship. weird there's no sign of people it it's like it's calling to us well that's usually what ghost ships do no way come on get the fear tier going hmm no can do i don't know why but the saris blastia ain't responding at all what do you mean what the hell is wrong with it you think this thing's the problem Ooh, maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. Wouldn't the fact that it's a ghost ship more to mean that it's in some way cursed? Y you don't really think so, do you? Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. I love this sort of thing. What? Well, we don't know what's Makes wrong with the Blastia. Me. We gotta go take a look. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? All right, why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. And who's the third person? I'm not going, no way. Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. You need to think about balance when splitting the party, understand? This ship could also be attacked by monsters at any time. Off. 
Spoopy ghost ship. Yep. Got the creepy music and everything. All of you be careful. We'll set up a smoke signal as soon as the Ceres Blastia is fixed. Thanks. Do you think the others are all right? We should probably worry a little more about how we're doing. There's no telling what might happen on a boat this sketchy. You say that, but you sound like you're enjoying all this. Because why not? Maybe that's why I don't feel all that scared myself. Oh man, this isn't going to be half as fun if you're not properly terrified. Fun? Never mind. So he was hoping she'd be terrified. That, I mean, don't hurt that's not now. exactly right, I don't think. Skinny Shark is back. Resound, oh cry of victory! These are the threads that leave our future. Okay, I think I can change. Yeah, I can change her weapon now. Some of your uh, favorite uh, ghost ship levels in games. Ooh, they look scary. Ooh, nice moves. The sign of victory. Yeah. Is, uh, I really like the go this ghost ship level in Legend of Goo. That's one of my favorites. Actually, to be honest, this ghost ship level is pretty cool. So far, it's pretty cool. It's definitely up there already. There's gotta be something about these mirrors. It's a ghost ship level. Get ready. I'm taking you down. <laughs> A cornered cat becomes a lion, or so. You'll be gone soon enough. Easy. 
There we go. This isn't my ideal group at the moment, but... You'll be gone soon enough. I mean, they show they show the enemies, but I'm sure there's got to be some other trick to the mirrors that I'm not that I'm not seeing. This will make good practice. Don't get cocky. I mean, if all they do is basically just let you see where the enemy is, then I just don't care then, because... I mean, I'm more than happy to fight things. It doesn't give me enough experience to really mount much of anything, but the sign of victory. Okay. I mean, I'm fairly certain I'm fairly actually over level still for where I'm at in the game. I mean, I'm in the 40s. Mechanic, but I was kind of hoping that there was something more to it than just that. I mean, you I can see without the mirrors because, well, you're not a ghost, you're just hungry shark. Crazy mutated crab. Repeat. Your tail? These are the threads that we this power will make me. Yeah, so, uh, some of them are really good. Some of them are kind of, eh. So far, I haven't heard a good one on I'm Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> Repeat is such a little shithead. But he's a, he's a good doggo still. He's a good boy. <laughs> Top, 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 top
Make good practice. Don't get cocky. Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Repeat. Symphonia is good, but you like a lot of the other ones a little, a lot better. Well, I mean, as my experience is well limited because I played three hours of Symphonia and maybe 10 or so of this don't get sloppy <laughs> Shining Dragon Swarm! That's over. But I mean, so far my first impressions of the Symphonia are it's okay, but it's it's not as good as any of the rest as the rest of them. Or at least as good as uh, Vesperia is. Considering doing Legendia in the near future. Make good practice. Don't get careless. <laughs> We're done. Vesperia and Abyss are considered the top two. I mean, Abyss looks good. At least what I've seen of it. This looks easy. I guess I'll go easy on them. I mean, it's, it looks dated, but... Resound, do cry of victory! I mean, there, there's not a whole lot you can do about game looking dated when it's as old as it is. There's a lot of PS2 games, I'm sure, uh, whenever I get around to going through and replaying them here for the stream. That's like, I, I'm going to go, I remember this looking a lot better than what it actually looks like here now. I think I just heard a weird noise. Look at that! It's no good. It won't open. 
It looks like we have no choice but to keep moving. All right, let's keep moving then. There's no use sticking around here. Yep, let's go. I wonder if everyone we left behind is okay. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh my, what happened? I can't believe the mast would suddenly collapse like that. Well, you probably also remember playing it on CRT, which hides it better. We're well, fine, yeah. But I hope Yuri and the others are okay. I'd be surprised if they came out of an impact like that without a few scratches. Those troublesome kids. You mind if I go and make sure they're still alive? Now hold on just a second. We'll protect the ship while you're gone. I'm sorry, but by ourselves, we wouldn't be much help in protecting the ship anyway. Hey, I ain't the guild anyway. I don't have to look after your ship if I don't wanna. Will we be okay with just the three of us? Hmm. That's where I come in. Weren't you told to stay put? Not that I really care or anything. Those words are powerless to put out the blazing fire that burns in an adventurer's heart. So, basically you just want to explore the ship? Because the ship, it reeks of treasure. Uh, I don't smell anything. An adventurer's sense of smell is sharper than the teeth of a man-eating shark. You're playing on a 70-inch 4K TV when I stream it hides nothing. It looks awful. Well, then you can come along. But if well, we find any treasure, we're splitting I'm, it up equally. Once I can actually get back to uh, playing console games, I play on a 43-inch 4K TV. It don't hide much either. 80, 20, and we've got a deal. Yes, I suppose we don't have a choice. Be sure to come back. I don't want to be adrift out here forever. It does feel a bit hopeless with just the two of us. <sighs> don't say things like that. Talk about something more fun. Oops, uh, sorry. I'm pretty nervous, but I'd feel awful if anything happened to the others. We have to go save them. Uh, all right, let's do this. So you're looking for a solution to the blur? Yeah, I I get that entirely. I feel like an easy win. Let me add up. And Kitty did you a big heck and learn. Oh, what'd you learn from Kitty? That crisp retro gaming is expensive. Yeah. It, it's something that I'll be dealing with at some point. Myself. Because there's plenty of retro games I want to play that... I suppose I could try. I'm sure they're not going to look good. Video standards were subpar. Wait up, Patty! It's dangerous to go too fast. We don't know what's lurking around here, so we have to be careful. Is that right? In that case, I'll walk behind you, Carol. Huh? All right, Carol. We 
I'm, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that oh, there, Kitty. Uh, care to expound upon that? The only man I can rely on, Carol. Not that you hold a candle to Yuri. Whoa, Patty! There's no need to shove. Composite is a sin. Well, yeah. But back in the day, that's all there really was. Let's just get it over with. That coax. I haven't done any emulation this because I really care about this computer. You didn't think I was that but maybe learn did why PS2 is an emulation I've done in the past would get from the better. Kitty expanding on that is a whole long voice chat rant. Scart was superior. I, I'm not familiar with... I, I Ellie mentioned that to me, but I haven't actually gotten around to looking up what it is. Hey, lass. Why are you walking so far away from me? I don't want Yuri to get the wrong idea. What idea might that be? Yuri and I are madly in love. That's all well and good, but you're outside my defensive range. I won't fall for your tricks. I know you've fallen for my charms, old man. I can't even tell if you're jesting with me. I've got a sixth sense for men like you. You have a rant you can go through at some point. Should have it all set up again soon so you can have visuals. I'd love to at some point go over that with you. Fatty Street called him a pervert. Trust me, I like nerdy shit. I like talking about nerdy shit. Leave it to me. I sadly do not get enough chances to actually do such. I also just like learning new things. You like nerdy shit when it comes to upping your gaming game? Uh, see, for me, I care. I just like knowing things. Other nerdy shit you'll kind of lose you on. The rant I gave Ellie, the rant you gave Ellie was the too long didn't read. Come on, that's enough. Quit wandering off every five steps. There might be loot around. I don't care about loot. Let's move on. Wait a minute. Are you scared? What would I be scared of? What was that? The door closed by itself. That's bizarre. Let's go investigate. Wait up. What if we get separated? Why not? 
I, I'm someone who's like, I just, I like a little bit of everything, so it's like. I feel like an easy win. All kind of uh, nerdy stuff I really would rather enjoy. Ellie may or may not have the attention span of a goldfish. Not bad. Yeah, we're done. Eh, I just didn't want to talk your ear off. Eh, it's never really a problem in my book. I don't get to talk to Who people enough generally to, to mind. Ah, you ran away from me. Then ran away from me again when I ran, went back to get you. Oh, guess we're done. <sighs> Thank goodness, you're okay. Hey, hey, you decided to come along for the ride too? You talk a lot. Hey, nothing wrong with that. And hey, why are you bringing along more people? We didn't exactly have a choice in the matter. I've come to see you, Yuri. Well, you certainly got guts, though that's nothing new. I've got more guts than a fish on the beach. I guarantee it. I know. If you didn't, you wouldn't have marched into that old geezer's oh, mansion all you, by Kitty, yourself. Oh, thank you, Kitty, for the, the sub there. The, or all the gift sub. You mean Rago's palace? Is our ship going to be okay? Let's get that means we need quickly. to draw a card. Well, we will once this cutscene's over. That, I'd wager. You gotta be kidding me. The ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship, plotting to make us one of them. Don't make up stories like that. No way that's possible. We'll just have to look for another way out. Right on. Let's go. No, the boss bar. I screwed up. And then Kitty healed at least most of the damage they dealt to their boss, their own boss bar. Thank you for the 260 uh, bits there. <sighs> Rita, are you okay? What do you mean? Of course I'm okay. That's why I'm going to get out of here right now. Oh, but we worked so hard to get here. We should take our time and soak in the atmosphere. We can't take our time here. Crap. I have the important mission of investigating the air situation. <laughs> it's not like there's any other reason I'd want to leave here. <gasps> A strange face on the other side of the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> no, it can't be. I feel kind of sorry for her. Come on, let's finish what we came to do. For Rita's sake. Yes, that might be best. Okay, let's shuffle these up a little bit. And go to... Nope, wrong screen. So, first card we draw, because Ellie just dropped a thousand bits on the channel. So this is for the gift sub. We drew a true polymorph. Is there any flavor text on that? Maybe a little too convincing. And then for the thousand bits, that that gets a card. What do we draw for that? Uh, we got an island. Alarmed by the news you brought, the storm giant king of the Maelstrom has called his kin to council. And I do believe also that with the thousand bits that Ellie dropped, that beats the boss bar. So we'll be going for an extra half hour tonight. Yep, let's reset the boss bar.
It's now at 1600 health with Ellie as the as queen. And we're close to actually having a hype train. Boss Ellie. We'll destroy them in no time. Remember to keep a sharp eye out. And then we get another gift sub from Kitty Under the Sun. Thank you. Let's draw a card for that here. Uh, I got my hand over. A Demolich. Ellie likes being boss of illusion. War word declared. Uh, no flavor text on, on the Demolich, but... Thank you again for the... The gift sub. Someday you'll take it back. Well, it'll go to whoever f deals the last blow. Ellie dropped 300 more bits, healing it back up. See how much better it is when we're all together? It's times like these that give you a sense for how important cooperation really is. N yeah, I guess. The runt said something smart for once. Not that we've done anything all that cooperative yet. That's all right. Just being together makes this place less frightening. I wonder if it's really that simple. Ah! It's a four-legged hell beast! Ah! Oops, my bad. Must have just been the pooch's shadow. Oh, you are so dead! I'm gonna kill you and leave you haunting the ship! <laughs> and I forgot to go. Kitty went, no, you monster. Told ya. Well, Ellie hasn't actually been the boss of the stream in quite some time. Kitty's held the reins for a while. Piece of cake! One shot should do. Yo! <laughs> Flickering blaze burn! Fireball! It gets too expensive at one point. Yeah, no, I get that.
could you be any uh. weaker? Don't let him trip you up. <laughs> oh, what's up, Ellie? You just went, oh shit. I'm wondering what. The best defense is a good offense. Or so I've read. This power will make me stronger. General Graham went live? Oh, holy shit. He's, it's been a while since he's done that. Well, uh, I figure if he's still alive when we get done, uh, we'll go give him a raid. Year 232 of Asul, 13th day of Blue Air. The Asul period and the month of Blue Air are from a time before the Empire. So, over yes, a thousand years ago. That long? Adrift five and forty days, food and water used up, men succumbing to thirst and starvation. I cannot give in, though. I must see the clear Ciel crystal safely to Jormgen. This crystal holds the power to banish the monsters, and with it the town may yet be saved. I have stored the clear Ciel crystal in my red chest, a gift from my dear Yuafan. It won't be much longer until I am in her arms again, and then we will all be saved. But he wasn't able to return to his town. He passed away here. Come on, Estelle. It was more than a thousand years ago. So this ship's been wandering the open seas for an awful long time. Sounds lonely. I've never heard of a town called Jormgen. If this record is really that old, there's no guarantee the town even exists anymore. Yeah, I guess that's true. What about that clear seal crystal? I've never heard of it. The power to banish monsters. Huh. I wonder if it's something similar to a barrier. Do you think it might be here somewhere? Let me see if I can find it. Well, with that, I actually now don't want to go that direction. This looks easy. Don't get careless. <laughs> Oh, he's playing Destiny 2. <laughs> I, I forgot to go check in on that game this week. I need to do that here tonight. Since the season ends Tuesday. I need to make sure I've got everything that I want to have done, done. Are you done already? Which I think for the most part, everything I want to have done, I have done. Ellie making sick faces there. Yes, you heard Destiny. I was just saying here, but once I'm off stream, uh, I'm probably going to go check in on Destiny 2 and make sure I've got everything done that I want to have done uh, since the season ends here on Tuesday.
Okay, so that's just from where he came. <laughs> oh, no. Ellie has valid reasons. I mean, it, Destiny's not a game for everyone. Getting the seasonal seal. From behind? Oh, man. I'm probably a long ways away from getting the seasonal seal. I haven't done. I can't. I know I did a seasonal seal at one point this this year. I just can't remember which one I I got. Your legs are shaking. Don't hate the Ellie. I peck you. Hey, Goosey, how are you? It's good to see you here. Ellie's gonna hate and gonna hate strong. This will make good practice. Don't get cocky. That's what happens when I get serious. I mean, once the new season drops, I'll probably do a stream. Stream in it just to start out. Could this be it? He's clutching something. It must have been very important to him. You think it's the clear seal crystal? Well, it matches up with what was written in that diary. Hey, old man, you That's go good get to it. Hear, Goosey. Um, no thank you. What is it with kids today always blurting things out like that? Hmm? Still a scaredy cat at your age, old man? How are you any different, Patty? Ah, uh, well, sadly, Goosey, I don't have any bread. I know, I love Marisov. She's such an amazing character. Aren't you a little old to be arguing with a child? Here you go. <laughs> Judith, darling, you've got nerves of steel. Do you think it might be cursed? Hey, this thing's stuck. Months. Huh? Ah! Well, that is certainly a monster. It appears to have the opposite effect. What are you talking about? It's drawing the monsters to us. Here they come. Imagine a more fitting captain for a ghost ship? He doesn't seem like the other monsters. This is they blasphemy. What, that I have no bread? Sadly, I just ran out last night and I haven't got done grocery shopping, so. I don't even have crackers. Closest I've got to bread right now is uh, some uh, frozen fried shrimp.
Then what was that? I must be all out of a bunch of items. I got an achievement for secret mission? So I guess this wasn't something that I was supposed to do story-wise. But yeah, I, I love Marisol. She's such a cool looking character. She's got such an interesting story. It's getting away. Come on, it's not like we have to settle the score with that monster, do we? Jeez, poor Raven's getting too old for this. Should we get it back to him? I think that's what he wants! I... I want to deliver the clear seal crystal to Yormgen for him. You what? Would it be possible to add that to the jobs being done by the guild? We can't, Estelle. As a rule, tiny guilds like ours don't take on a new job until they complete the one they're working on. Completing each job to the letter is the way new guilds have to build their reputation. Hmm? Is the guild going to be sent running here and there by another one of this girl's whims? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that, you know. Rita, wait. Judith, I am sorry, but I want to help him deliver this to the one who was waiting for him. Well, I, don't I mean, think technically the job we took years. was escorting the princess. So, I mean, technically it's still part of the yeah, same job. I'm sick of waiting after that long myself. I don't think that's what he's talking about. <sighs> I'll find them. Rita, you all have your hands full looking for Pharaoh and escorting Estelle, right? I'm free to do what I like. Well, I'll come along too, then. I don't mind going either. Hold it. You guys have your jobs to take care of. You know you're going to end up sticking with us anyway, so I don't see any problem with us helping you out a little on the side. Thank you. Ah, how I envy the vigor of youth. You've got such good friends. You must be so happy, Rita. I I'm not happy at all. Really? <laughs> huh? Notice something? Looks like there's smoke outside. But I'll be doing some grocery shopping here soon, Goosey, because I'm starting to run low on a lot of things. Signal. So I'll have I wonder bread if the soon. Ceres Blasty is working again. Let's get back and check it out. Come to mention it, we won't be able to get back the way we came. We'll just have to see if we can't find a better way out. It looks like the case holding the clear CL crystal Ellie. just won't open. I wish uh, we could make sure it's actually in there, jacks, considering the sort of place we found it in. Couldn't you just bust it open with your magic? No, I can't. Right, if we damage the contents, Hydrate. we wouldn't be able to make the delivery. No, I mean I already tried blowing it up. This little box is tougher than it looks. I... I'm at a loss for words. Forget it, Estelle. There's not much you can say to that. Uh, anyway... I suppose it makes sense to put something so important in an unbreakable box. Okay. Let's take care of those items here. Um, do I have any cold water? That's a good question. I do not. Okay. That's annoyance. An easily remedied one, but still an annoyance. Do I have any ice? Mm, well, not exactly. Got some whiskey stones. Donkey Kong Country 2? Uh, well, okay, actually, new laptop is in and should be ready, uh,
So, I think we can swing Donkey Kong Country 2. At least, so long as I have everything set up right. I'll, I'll keep you apprised of whether or not that's something we'll end up doing or not. Um, and if it's not something, we'll, I'll ask you what else you want. But I'll certainly try it. And if it's not, and you don't want to change it, then we'll just queue it for up for once I can actually get everything to work. Oh, why did I put that pitcher of water away? I don't know. But we'll do the jumping jacks first, and then we'll do the push-ups, and then we'll get back to doing things. But what was loud, Ellie? Okay. The ice blinks. <laughs> well, those weren't actually ice. Uh, those are whiskey stones. They're just little metal cubes you throw in your freezer. Uh, that way, if you're drinking, like scotch or whiskey or whatnot you can throw them in there without diluting the alcohol this is awesome <laughs> They were frosty ear drip bombs. I'm surprised they were that loud, but. Deemed uh, be a character. Ah, we can certainly try to be a character here. Uh, what was I about to do? Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, my brother. You, you redeemed that a while ago, and wasn't able to do it then. Glad we can do it for you now, but boy. Seas ain't been kind. Boy, this is a giant ladder. And there's even more ladder.
Am I a cowboy pirate? Well, I guess so. I mean, there ain't much difference between cowboy and pirate, just where you're at at any given point in time. difference is getting your legs for riding a horse or figuring out where your sea legs went. That could be a huh? tricky thing. Wasn't this locked earlier? I guess we can go back through here. Hmm. The curse was broken, huh? Don't be ridiculous! Now let's go! Yes, ma'am. monster it wasn't the sort of thing we regularly encounter it could be a creature possessed by spirits that wonders the atherum <laughs> that can't possibly be it it's too unscientific do you sense anything amiss repeat <laughs> what'd he say i um i don't know looks like we need yuri to interpret for ain't us. generally good luck hey, to have a yuri! dog on a ship hold though. on there's no need to investigate this right now is there should we have finished it off when we had the chance? If we could just jump down from here, we'd reach the ship in no time. Here. Well, where did you get that? I thought something like this might happen. So I brought this from inside the ship. I think I'm gonna gag. All right, let's go back to the ship. Oh, good grief. If the Ceres Blasty has been but fixed, that means we can save the entire this hellhole. My father. My father was a cowboy. They, they didn't get along too well most of the time. They, they did this shared custody thing, and I went back and forth. I always had fun though. Get ready. I'm taking you down. The sign of victory. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not used to this team. That's over. Now I'd be lost and I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going. There we go. Don't Finally found my way. 
Are these midis need to have a right workout with the, these anchors are using for weapons? The Sarah's Blastia has been fixed. So it seems. Woo! Thank goodness. Of all the... Why do I always get sucked into these messes? If it was anybody other than me, you guys would have been left behind. Sorry about that. We'll never do it again, promise. <sighs> I wonder what caused the Sarah's Blastia to break down. It just started working again. I don't have the slightest clue why. You really think there's a curse then? Perhaps the captain wanted to pass the clear seal crystal on to someone and reached out to us. No way. Dead people can't want to do anything. Doors get stuck, the Ceres Blastia stops working. Sounds like a curse to me. That boy has it right. Our matey, that he does. The world's a big place. There are many things we humans don't understand. I said it can't happen, so it just can't. What are you hitting me for? So, how do you like it? Well, the boss here has seen better days. Hmm. What's the matter? We don't know why it broke down, but either way, it's barely holding together. If we keep using this old piece of junk Blastia, we're guaranteed a shipwreck in the middle of the sea. Wow, so she's sensible when it comes to ships. What? She is? W what are you all looking at? Fine, fine. As soon as we get to port, I'm getting you a new one. Y you don't have a problem with that, do you? Seriously, this is a crazy deal you're getting. There, there's got to be something more to this, because she's again trying to get rid of this ship awfully easily. Hey, are we going to Nordopolica or not? Let's get this thing out of here. Right. I'm looking forward to finally getting there as well. <laughs> Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do Arr, with bad luck? Point. We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. So what did you name your seafaring seahorse or ship? Mm. Uh, this will be my first ship, so I never actually named it. And it didn't really give me an option to do that. So I don't know. What should we name it? Take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. Name it Can now. I gel? No. <sighs> then now it is. <laughs> Look a little scary to anyone else. Oh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? 
We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, uh, what a tyrant. Not what you meant. I don't know, NAO sounded like a wonderful name to give to a ship. Can it take all blame directed towards you? This one's strong. Get ready for anything. You reject. delegates it. I, I say we blame any viewer who's not here. Kitty, no thumbs, can't accept anything. When has that ever stopped a cat from doing anything? That's over. Doesn't stick to fur. I remember uh, it was one of the times my dad had gone to uh, to work at the Honda plant in Japan. He came back with this really awesome uh, duct tape. It. It was a. Uh, it wasn't silver like normally get. It was black, but you. It was some tough stuff. It basically took a saw to cut it. Gorilla glue. Hey, now that shit's chemical warfare at this point. Well, yeah, uh, on a cat that would definitely be uh, some chemical warfare there.
know where I'm going, so I'm just kind of floating around trying to see what's out there. And I'm going to call the ASPCA. Has a red dot. I'm all out of items. a character prompt for you, 3,000 points. Okay. Um, what do you mean by pick a character prompt? Would this be like uh, in like an RPG, like when they give you a couple different options, like, hey, you guys can supersede what I want and go, hey, do this. Is that what you're getting at with that? got 1k to do a character voice, I mean 3k for us to give you a character to play. Okay, okay. I, I can get behind that.
talk like a Scottish hobo? I mean, I'd certainly attempt it. I don't know how well I would succeed at it, but I would certainly attempt it. just an elaboration example no I, I figured that but no that, that, that sounds interesting I, I like that idea thank you Ellie Add new custom reward. Done. For, it'll be the same time limit. It's It'll be a 10 minute thing. Uh, I do agree with the point option for that. Um, depending on how difficult it is and such, I may adjust things. But for now, I like that idea. It It's in there. Complete those. And that was the first add a command request I anyone's ever done. Which is either I've done good at coming up I put basically anything anyone wanted in there already or you guys just haven't had much of a of any ideas. on a roll of first this week. I like this time the response wasn't fuck you, Ellie. I normally reserve that response when Ellie has pissed me off. No, 
Oh, that looks like a cave. Well, if it is, I can't enter it. But what's this big fancy place? I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this place is. I just haven't been here in forever. Someone had a point button that was really expensive to make them do MSQ Roulette. No one had ever pushed it before. I actually like the MSQ Roulette. My only problem with it is just how long it takes, the weight it usually is, to get into it. Me or Ellie? And I actually like the fact that they made it to where you actually have to sit there and go through the cutscenes. Too many times where I was seeing people getting kicked uh, for actually trying to watch the cutscenes. Ellie. Um, in fact, I was actually trying to show the game off to a friend of mine. Um, because I was trying to get him to see if he wanted to try and get him to actually play Final Fantasy XIV and was doing it and was showing him the cutscenes and everything. And we got kicked in the middle of the, the cutscenes because we were watching them. And I was just like, sorry, it's not like you actually needed me there to actually do anything. Or you could have just waited a few moments. That also made you want to push it more. The only one that really kind of gets me to where it's like, I, I'm angry and annoyed and I despise anyone is when they request a game that I try to play and do not have a good time. Um, so my main is on Balmung, which I think is on the Crystal Data Center. Uh, but the character I'm using right now for streams is uh, on Adamantos. Because I want to go through and do all the uh, all the story on stream. And then, as far as I'm aware of, Ellie it would be the same. She may have a character somewhere on some other server and data center, but... Uh, the reason I put the stream character on Adamantois was because that's where everyone else seems to be. Before I continue, Ellie so Bun after no Abyss for a short, short bit. Yep, otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility is a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest. Well, since I'm going to be able to start doing console streams again, and has become a city of entertainment. With so long as we actually do end up meeting all the uh, the goals for next month. Yeah. Polystrali's just as big uh, a guild as the Dawn's Altosk, and... I'm, I'm not quite sure how much time I'll have for Final Fantasy XIV ne next month on stream. My, 
How pretty. So, party in the streets every day. Huh? I had originally thought this about uh, great. doing um, Final Fantasy XIV tomorrow night, but I do believe it's down for maintenance. Parties, fireworks, and skewers are a match made in heaven. During my normal stream time tomorrow. Hey, so. I have one of those skewers too. Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. The minion's work is never done. Uh, these goals. Um, currently... Currently, I think we meet everything, but... That's so there's still a few subs uh, that could possibly drop off and would drop us back below the the limit. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do for if we hit the uh, the new school I posted up of 35 subs. Um. So, and then I'm still looking for recipes, ideas to do for a cooking stream. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> Ooh, we got another gift sub. Two more gift subs. Three more gift subs. Traveling in a group sounds like loads of fun. So we gotta draw three cards here. It's yeah, just, just three so far that I'm seeing. We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Fiertia belongs to you, as promised. So we'll draw three cards here in just a moment. Thanks! We'll take good care of her! So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. And 700 more bits from... Kitty, which puts us into another overtime. There so we're going to at least 4 a.m. That would make going by foot and a, a fourth card that we need to draw here. Cool. By boat. I don't think that's possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you the desert is really dangerous. Thank you so much for all the support here, Kitty. And Ellie, both of you. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Heading into port, me hearties. Ellie just took it back with 1,800 more bits. Uh, meaning we're going till 430. And now five cards I need to draw. Good work. Thanks. No, no. Thank you. You're a huge help. Right. Mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, ma Madam President, it's an honor to, to have you here. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the excavation of r ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse me. 
He seems like a nice person. Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hope Loan Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruin's Gate is completely innocent. Oh, come on. Ellie Bounds. Next time, Ellie. Next time. How can you be so sure? Sad that Ellie Bounce didn't work, but... They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. Huh. Well, I'm off. Take good care of the Fiertia. I'll arrange for exchange of the Ceres Blastia and for transport of Tokunaga. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Mage is selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. All right. I guess I'll be going now. Going? Going where? I've got lots of stuff to do. You mean treasure hunting? It works on Discord at least. Well, that is true. Hi. Well, it's at least for, it works for me in your server. It does not... It was nothing. Thanks for piloting Sadly, ship, it doesn't work way. in any other server. It's been real fun. Be careful out there. You too. Well, I got some work to do myself. Only way to get on Twitch would be raise your average viewer count. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the, uh, it's right? I think they gave what? Uh, partners? Uh, animated yep. emotes now? So you'd have to get the average of 75 viewers in three months or in a month hey why don't we all go? and then you have after i'm aware of after that you actually have to maintain continue to maintain that to Good keep idea. partner status she probably knows something about pharaoh we'll just tag along with you and say hi to bellius i don't know if that's such a good idea of course I, i've only heard rumors but uh, hmm I mean, I'd love to someday actually make make it to partner status. What? Is something wrong? But considering the fact that huh? Nah, it's not. I, I haven't really even gotten I barely stayed above uh, the requirement for affiliates uh, viewership over the last year since I got affiliate. I don't much see it happening anytime soon. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Polystrolic. And you think with your current stream setup, you couldn't handle that audience? Uh, that kind of audience would be a pretty rough to do in just a, uh, a chat-only capability. But let's draw these cards here. So, first card we draw is uh, Burning Hands. A single fire spell that grows in intensity along with its caster. That was for the fir first of those three gift subs that Kitty gave. The second is... Hulking Bugbear. Bugbears move with surprising speed for their size and bulk, a fact that has led to the demise of many un... Unwary adventurers. And the third. I can't really read that. It's all shiny. Uh, 50 feet of rope. And then for the 700 bits, we drew an owl bear. A lot of bears tonight. Many people believe a misguided wizard created the first owlbear, but others insist that the, these creatures have always dwelled in the Feywild. And for Ellie's 1800 bits, we drew something. Barwin of Clan Under. No flavor text on that one, but... Legendary Dwarf. Fits right in with uh, her Vermintide 2 character that she likes to play.
Just what sort of person is this Bellius exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now. But I mean, yeah. I, I would actually, I want to close this. Uh, I'd love to someday actually make partner just because it's just like, that, that'd be the point where it's like, I can say I act, actually, actually, no, if I could actually just get, I'd say above an average viewer count of 10, that's when I'd say I've, I've made it. like uh, Ellie your stream set up I've thought about trying to do something similar at times but it's just like I, I just kind of like the the speed at which I can talk faster than I can type I mean, yeah.
statue of Nick of Samatrake and is known as the goddess of victory for the arena. The goddess seems to be missing a head. That's never good for a goddess. Usually they need their heads. I've thought about doing is I've thought about uh, getting like a VTuber model and doing that. Can't afford a good V2 model. Yeah, I, I know. I, I I couldn't either, probably. Although actually, no, I I do believe. Uh, sorry, my other mod, she doesn't. She doesn't charge too much uh, for them. Um, I'll see if I can't find uh, her Fiverr link. And see what she charges for them. Though she can be a little slow at getting things done, from in my experience, just she's got a lot going on with various things. So, Lord Belius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. But we've come to see Belius. What? Who are you? We're a guild. Brave Vesperia! I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my bad lord only meets with individuals one. who have appointments. If I had any skill at such things, I would probably try that. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the air crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. 
You mind if old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going too. I figured that was him, it just looked too odd and out of place. Kebab sandwich. That I I imagine that would be a fairly hard to 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 eat. Oh snap, this shit is expensive. What, looking at uh, VTube model, VTuber models? Yeah. They range up into a couple of thousand dollars. I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. A friend of yours? No. I'm afraid no one else has arrived today. <sighs> that hopeless old man must still be wandering around. Then why don't we go talk to some more people ourselves? All right. Yeah, that that's about uh, top of top of the market there. I mean, you can get cheaper, but uh, its quality may may not be as good. But then again, not always is the most expensive always the best, either. She's shopping. Give me one of these and one of these. E yes, that, ma'am. That, the cost of prohibitiveness of it is mainly the reason why... Uh, Wait a second, dear. I've not gone through and gotten a VTuber model. Um, I've got some of the rigging software, I think, from a Humble Bundle at some point. Um, those clothes are... Uh, I'm sorry, but are you Eifried's granddaughter? It's just that there's been a rumor going around. People say there's a girl dressed like Eifried who claims to be his granddaughter. <sighs> huh? Granddaughter? That means... I knew it. Your total comes to 450 gold. you to stop coming here is that because i'm ifried's granddaughter uh well you see i don't really mind myself but our customers you see huh what wait just a second i didn't say anything like that darling you just said it hurt our reputation if the granddaughter of an outlaw shopped here well, yeah, she's the granddaughter of a guy who violated the guild's morals and slaughtered tons of people. Well, that's... Cut the crap. What? Do you honestly think a child is responsible for that? What exactly did she do that was wrong? It's okay, Yuri. No need to get angry. This kind of stuff happens all the time. What is up with you? He was saying all of that for your sake. You don't have to worry about me. I'm leaving town soon enough anyway. Farewell. It's not right for you to take the blame, though. Uh, hey, wait up! Ugh, <sighs> uh, I swear. Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? 
I wonder what that's all about. She never mentioned that before. I wonder if it's true. I don't know. Who knows? But even so, is Eifried's reputation really that bad? After the Black Hope Massacre, he lost the trust of every guild. And now most guild members utterly despise him. Ah, okay. Yeah, that don't uh, sound Yuri, good. Are you sure it's okay to let her go? This is Patty we're talking about. She's a strong girl. I'm sure she'll be fine. Right. Anyway, if we don't get back soon, the old man. I mean, she has this strange concept of again. monsters just want to play with her and not eat her. Even though one actually did eat her, another flew her around. That's true. But somehow she's still alive. Is Patty alright? She's she'll pop back up soon enough. Do you think Patty's really Eifried's granddaughter? Even if she is, that treatment is inexcusable. Hope has done nothing wrong. Regardless of the guild's trust, it's not unusual for Patty to bear the brunt of the anger. Eifried isn't around to take it after all. But that's still no excuse to blame Pat. True. Patty. Sorry, I decided to throw dinner in the oven here, since that's going to be a rather long stream tonight. anyone it just is what it is I don't blame anyone I actually thank you guys Melly too. Well, I mean, it's not like Ellie's not to blame for something. I'm sure there's something that Ellie did. from before. Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have a companion who's a flashy dresser. Well, flashy's one way to describe him. I see. Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. Uh, 
I mean, as as far as Kitty seems to to think, it, Ellie's a monster who stole his boss status. Though cats usually always do think they're the boss. What's Estelle up to now? What trouble is she about to cause? Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah, what was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison, hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Vesperia. The brightest that star is a in bright the star sky. in the sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia. And oh, he ascended amazing. to the skies to watch over the world. The End. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. Coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child. Hey! Well then, what about all... Never mind. I know where this is going. Okay. So what do I need to go do now? Drunk already? I don't know, maybe 
let's see what this Coliseum thing's all about. Oh, hey, it's that guy. I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Bellius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? All right, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Well, Don't tell maybe me you're not, out to but... save the world or something. <sighs> Man, what's with that guy? Let's go save before we take part in this Colosseum thing, because I'm sure it's going to be rough. So he still needs to learn this stuff here. Oh, but wait. This has all those, but it's still better.
Might as well equip every, all the new stuff to everyone. And save again. I just entered. Oh, my preparations are ready. Okay, well, I guess I'm done here then. Oh well. this huh what are you talking about b -b 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 both of you s -s stop this nonsense m -m making a scene like this out in front of everyone mind your own business you better put that away before you hurt yourself who the hell are you hey if i'm wrong for doing this you'll have my apology later but I think it's you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! <laughs> are you okay? Oh, thank you so m much. You were wi with m m Madam President C Kaufman. We're the Guild Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. You're a gay of Ruins Gate, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks. Oh, uh, there's a f favor I wanted to ask of you. All right. Why be it from us to ignore a request from Ruinsgate? Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? Perhaps we could discuss this somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. Sounds like the perfect thing to go uh, If Ruinsgate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment... ...is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first, and then decide whether or not to accept? Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. Ah, uh, no. Let's go and stop I'm by all the for Coliseum more then. We can at least hear him out.
the house or something to investigate. said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see... We have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the ru ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Entelechaea. Entele... what? Ah, oh, oh yes. M m my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Critia? Okay, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He, he's the champion of the C Colosseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palastrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Y yes. P please, for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Colosseum? Of course, and he's being b b backed by L L Leviathan's Claw. L L Leviathan's Claw plans to use the c c Colosseum for income to, to, to dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Hugh Moore and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. I don't know. Let's shake it a lot. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the Guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do? I... I beg your pardon. Is this a d difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Right. As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose... The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. See the show? How about the Coliseum is currently? You want to give it a go? I had a feeling you were going to be a contestant. All right, get fired up and head she is on way inside. too cheerful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome 
to the brutal battles of the Nordapalaga Coliseum. First off, let's go over the rules of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament. No second chances here. If a fighter makes it through three thrilling rounds, he or she will then challenge the champion. Fighters, if you best our champion in the ring, not only will you receive a fantastic prize, but you'll also take the position of champion. And now, on to the first fight. Yuri, good luck! You'll do great, Yuri! Try not to hurt yourself. I wanted to fight. You're still going on about that? <laughs> Look at all these people. This should help advertise our guild nicely. In today's first fight, a new face in the Coliseum. Hailing from the new guild, Brave Vesperia. Please welcome... Still, I'll make this quick. Uh, I guess that was an okay warm up. That was a quick fight. For our second round, we welcome the hellacious bandana clad thief, Yugum Jerome. Starfish, give me the starfish versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowe. Don't let your guard down, young warrior. The battle has only just begun. Knock your opponent down to the gates of Hades. Second round, fight. Hold still, I'll make this quick. No way, that was too easy. Taking you down. Come on, you can do better than that. I mean, they could, they're just probably not going to. He's got the goods all right. Well, it just keeps getting better. Now it's time for the main event. Allow me to introduce the current and undefeated champion of the Coliseum. What? What do you mean? It's the heartthrob with the steely gaze, Flynn Shifo. Yuri, what are you doing here? So you're the evil villain who's trying to take over the Colosseum. Very funny. Want to tell me what you're talking about? <laughs> so we're being used. It seems that way. 
Well, either way, you, I gotta beat you. Hey, these people didn't pay good money to see a rigged fight. You could at least ease up a little. Like you're having any trouble blocking me. Shining Dragon Force! Distressing. So, care to explain what you're doing here? You know, nightly duties and such. I'm afraid that's all I can say. Since when is becoming the champion of the Colosseum a duty? Especially for a captain of the knights. I'm not at liberty to say. Is that so? I think it's great you're taking your promotion so seriously. But be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. You're the one taking this seriously. It's been a while since I've seen you enjoy anything this much. Well, I mean, Yuri does like to fight, don't so... Don't you think it's about time you return Her Highness? You'll have to take that up with the lady herself. Her Highness tends not to listen to the things I tell her. Yeah, well, Her Highness isn't particularly fond of taking my advice either. Ow. To this little show? How? If we quit now, they'll boo us out of the building. Yuri Lowell! Oh, you gotta be kidding. Just a moment here. Had to go pull dinner out of the oven. What do we have here? Has someone arrived to steal the spotlight from the stars of the show? Looks like he's got Yuri, a toy. You've managed to stay alive long enough for me to kill you. Now let me show you my thanks. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but I got other reasons for sticking around. You are the only man ever to make me bleed, and I swear that you will die by my hand. Man, why not do something a little more productive with all that energy? Watch this! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's a Blastia! I can't believe he tried to use it like that! I've got a bad feeling about this. That Blastia... Judith! Hey, what are you doing? What could this mean for the tournament? Oh, screw this. I'm out of here. How do you like my arm? You did this to me, and now I'll use it to destroy you. Yuri! Is that so, you say? Come, Yuri. Let me show you my new toy. Now you're starting to get on my nerves. I'm gonna let you get away with using a blastia like that? <laughs> You're all just jealous of my arm. You should really use that tenacity for something more productive. <laughs> Worship me! Fear me! Let me feel your rage! Burn it I'm <laughs> 
you do this anymore got some dice oh, it's out of his control that's what he gets for using it like that this damn blast is not doing what I want it to Immediate threats. Damn it. Guess we'll have to take care of the monsters first. <gasps> yeah. Protect the protect the people first, and then we can chase after him. This looks easy. I guess I'll go easy on them. Yeah, we're done. Uh, any hey, there's a monster shape. Eliminate them. Change out his weapon now. This is becoming a real pain in the neck. Less talking, more fighting. I agree with her. What? Hey, what's going on? Could this box be causing everything? Him. Hear me, knights. Sodia will command this division and eliminate the remaining monsters. Shouldn't have that doing these people come first? The rest of you will defend the spectators with me. Don't let even one of the beasts escape. <laughs> Looks like Flynn was thinking ahead. He even sounds like a real captain already. We're getting out of here. Judith and your puppy dog already took off. Yeah, I heard. A hero's work is never done. Hello? Wait up! Hey! <laughs> Let's see here.
He got out of the city. Well, he's pretty good at running away. Repeat is still after him. Hopefully, he won't lose the trail. But what's the deal anyway? Why would Regay... Think he set us up somehow? Looks that way. He used us to keep Flynn from carrying out his orders. Orders? Relax. It doesn't look like he's here to recapture any princesses. He wouldn't go through the trouble of entering the tournament for that. Well, then what could it be? Good question. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was hurting Regay's plans. But Regay seemed so polite. He didn't seem too polite when he was making off with that case. This might mean Ruin's Gate is nothing more than a false front. Still, what could he want with that case? Just what was the clear Ciel crystal? About all we know now is that something in that box made my magic go all haywire. I never lost control of my Bodhi Blastia like that before. Hey, if we've got the time to be standing around chatting, shouldn't we be chasing after your doggy friend? You're right. We For should once, go Raymond actually has a point. Gay. What could he possibly want with that case? Well, our genius mage's magic was kind of weird. He must have thought it was linked to that box. Then you think Brigay knows what's in the box? The only way we'll find out is by going after him. If he stole it knowing what was inside, then he must know what the clear CL crystal can do. If we catch him, we might learn something about Jormgen. Okay, now we definitely can't let him get away. Yes, we don't have a moment to lose. Repeat will be able to follow his scent with this. We've got to get that case back. Yeah, there's that too. Guilds don't take kindly to backstabbing cheats. That's right. He couldn't just cross the mountains to the west without preparing first. We should be able to catch up with him. All right, let's get him. Do you think the Colosseum will be okay? Are you worried about it? Do you want to wait here with Rita then? What do you mean? This is a guild matter after all. Nothing for you little ladies to worry yourselves over. Sorry, Estelle, but I'm going too. I'm curious about that red case. Besides, I won't feel right till I give that idiot a piece of my mind. <laughs> I love Rita. Rita's then awesome. I... I love all yourself. these characters. They're all really cool. I... I'll come too. If he was trying to obstruct the Knights, then this could be connected to the Empire. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, the Colosseum will be fine. Flynn's got a handle on things. Well then, let's get our things in order and go after that jerk. Market, Ruins Gate, and the Blood Alliance. Huh, that makes us one short. Huh? What are you talking about? The Union's five master guilds. We've dealt with four of them, but not the last one. Oh, hey, I don't think I even knew the last one's name. Hey, Carol, what's the last guild called? Ah, that'd be the Blacksmithing Guild, the Soulsmiths. Huh, I didn't know they had a guild for that, too. You probably use swords forged by the Soulsmiths without even knowing it. You've seen weapons embossed with an iron hammer, right? That's their guild emblem. Oh yeah, the innkeeper where I used to stay had a kitchen knife with something like that on it. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I'm not used to this team. Let's go. Disturbing! Yeah. 
But at least now I'm at the point where it's like, oh, I'm actually getting more experience for encounter now. So as I do laps around my apartment, I just kind of let this kind of auto do its thing. They're bouncing. Finish that one. I mean, it's not wouldn't be a whole it's not a whole lot more than what I was getting, but. thought all we'd be doing at the Colosseum was beating bad guys. Now things have gone and gotten complicated. I certainly didn't think we'd be seeing Flynn here. Not to mention that Zoggy guy. And that runaway coward, Regay, too. It can't be a coincidence, not with them all here at once. If it is a coincidence, it's the worst one I've ever heard of. Just how bad can our luck be? You think Leviathan's Claw are the ones calling the shots this time? Thinking things through is all well and good, but we don't want Regay skipping out on us. No kidding. We'll finish talking later. Let's go. Hold still. I'll make this quick. All right. Here we go. Yay! All right! We did it! <laughs> These are the threads that we... That thing's big and ugly. Ooh, they look scary. Oh, flickering I'm using this All that was up here. Hold still. I'll make this quick. The sign of victory. This will make good practice. Don't get careless. I got 
got no time to think. Just beat him senseless. Yeah, I feel good. I think he just finished that weapon, so I can switch him out to something else. Yeah. Let's just get it over with. I might, not, I might not be able to make it to destination in time. stories about it but man they sure picked a spot for a coliseum it's at the tip of the continent of desire after all now that you mention it this continent has a pretty strange shape i wonder why it's shaped the way it is hmm i'll bet we might figure out why if we walked all the way around it that's our map lover captain carol i don't love maps no no don't be shy it's a wonderful hobby Ugh, that doesn't sound like a compliment at all it really doesn't or really didn't. She really sound more insulting about it than anything. Okay, well, I think that's where we're going to call it here for tonight. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, let's go ahead and we'll raid Mr. Gentle Graham here. Wonderful guy, good people, as Ellie said. He hasn't streamed in a while, so we, we definitely have to show him some love here. So, uh, when we move over, uh, type this into the chat. 
or we'll copy and paste it into the chat. Slash raid, Mr. Gentle Graham. Oh, he's already done? Ah, damn it. Well, um... Hmm. Well, that sucks. Yep. And here I was about to raid him. Let's see, who else can I raid? I don't have anyone on my list. Maybe we can... Hmm. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for who to raid, please let me know. I'm trying to search around here a little bit and see if I can find someone. Okay, I don't know. I don't know this guy, but he's got a somewhat low. I don't know this person, but they're playing Final Fantasy 14, so we'll go in, we'll introduce ourselves, see what they're what they're about, and see how it goes. <laughs> 